So if you're eating crappy things too, then it's all good. No one's perfect. Hi everyone, it's Laura and I hope you're all doing well. So I thought it would be fun to do a what I eat in a day video today. I just woke up, obviously. <laughs> Lately I've been eating a lot of grits and oatmeal. This morning I'm really craving a smoothie. So I'm gonna make that. Look at these ears. This is like the best robe ever. So when it comes to smoothies, I get in these kicks. I'm that type of person that I find a combination I really like and I stick with it for a really long time. One of my friends has a Costco membership, so I went with him to Costco. And I got these cherries, which I've been using. And then um, I mixed some berries. And I also got this from Costco, which was the Vega protein powder. And I just add half a scoop in part because I feel like lately, um, I was actually talking to my mom about this the other day, because lately I've really been like listening to my body when it comes to like when I eat, just because I can, because I can come in here and cook whatever, whenever. Um, but at the same time, I don't know if I can always trust my body to feed me enough. Um, so sometimes I do just need to add a little bit of extra stuff, like some extra peanut butter or maybe a little bit of protein powder. Not necessarily for the protein, but for the calories. Um, so I've been adding some of that to it as well. Almond milk. And honestly, with this, you can use water. I ran out of almond milk and I went and got this yesterday. And for like a week or so, I just used water and it was totally fine. Um, one of my friends, um, she lives in Nashville now, but she used to live in California, and she said that almond milk, I don't, I don't know the, I don't know anything about this other than what she told me, but she said that almond milk's really bad for the environment, because the amount of water it takes just to harvest one almond is, like, insane. Um, so I've thought about switching, um, milks, maybe switching to, like, oat milk or... I don't know, trying out different types of milks. Um, I thought about cashew milk, but then I'm like, I feel like cashews take just as much water to harvest. I don't know, maybe not. So if you don't drink almond milk and you drink a different plant-based milk, then let me know, because I'm on the market for a new plant-based milk. Assuming that that's right about almonds are really bad for the environment. I don't know. Then I always add some type of seed. Um, this is just ground flaxseed. Sometimes I add hemp seeds or chia seeds. It totally just depends. And then, I feel like coconut is kind of like cilantro. You either love it or hate it. <laughs> um, which this smoothie tastes perfectly fine without coconut in it. Um, but I like to, oh, it smells so good. I like to add some coconut. surprised Mona didn't just come running in here. <laughs> Anytime I make like a noise in the kitchen, she's like, don't worry, I'll clean it up. <laughs> and I'm going to add the dark cherries. And then I'm just going to add some berries. Not a whole lot. Um, but I love cherries so much. Does anyone else do this where you don't want to like use them all up? You want to like savor them? So I don't just put cherries in here so they don't get used up right away. So I'm going to add some berries. If I had some greens, it would be nice to add some greens, but I'm out right now. Uh, this one had 40% iron and 10% calcium, and it has 21 grams per one scoop. So I've literally just been doing like half a scoop. This is so good. <clears throat> I'm sorry I woke you up. <laughs> Lately what I've been doing is just filling up this water bottle with water and then just like squeezing some lemon in it um, and drinking on this throughout the day. Um, I'll show you a little bit later. I've also become really into these little um, 
like carbonated waters and I've been drinking those a lot too. But right now I'm just sipping on some water and I thought I would kind of update y'all on what's been going on with my career and all that stuff. Also, I'm going to do my makeup because I realized how pale I'm looking. Um, so basically what's been going on is back in the spring, um, I started working on this idea of doing kind of like an online consignment scrub store. Scrubs can actually be quite expensive. And a lot of people have scrubs that are just sitting in their closet that are perfectly fine but for whatever reason it's the wrong color it's the wrong size maybe they don't really like the style anywho so i started this company and it's called scrub club co and essentially how it works is customers can go online and order a bag and then i send them a like a mailer polymer bag and they fill it with their light new scrubs. They drop it off at USPS and then I wash them, sanitize them and put them on the website for 50% off the retail price. That launched July 1st. Then I'm obviously like still doing like some dietitian stuff on the side because I like being a dietitian and I think I'll always be a dietitian in some shape or form. Since I graduated, my goal has been to not have a 9 to 5 job. That just isn't in me to have the to be so scheduled. I push myself enough that I don't need that structure. So anywho, so I quit my job and I'm doing the scrub club and I'm doing dietitian stuff. I've been renting my place out on Airbnb and that has been going very, very well, um, which I knew it would go well, but I wasn't sure like how well, um, but I'm obviously still living here. So I'm just renting it out on the weekends and like, um, like last weekend it was rented and I stayed with my parents this weekend it's rented and one of my friends is getting married in Nashville. So I'm going to Nashville. I bought another home. So I'll be moving into that in a couple weeks. Um, and then renting this place on Airbnb full time. I'm enjoying the the day to day of my life, and that's kind of what I've always wanted. And I'm really grateful that I figured out kind of like a formula, you know, that works for me that allows me to do this. So that's kind of like an update. Um, I'm still a dietitian. I'll always be a dietitian, and I'm still gonna make videos and do consulting on the side and everything like that. Um, I've just replaced my full-time job with other activities. I look kind of more alive. Ish. My mom would tell me I need to put lipstick on. Lately, um, I have not been craving coffee at all, which is kind of amazing because normally that's the first thing that I would do in the mornings. And I think part of it is because I've been sleeping until 7, 7.30, so I don't feel like I need that caffeine. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe I just associate that with going to work. I'm not really sure. Um, because when I stay at my parents, I'll still sometimes drink it. Anywho, when I finish breakfast, what I've been drinking is either this Earl Grey, so just like your basic Earl Grey tea, nothing special. Or this, I got this at Harry and David's. And it's the Bing Cherry. And this is actually really nice. They're both really nice. I really like Earl Grey. Um, but they're just these like little tea bags. Um, and it comes with 50. So a decent amount. So um, I've been making myself a cup of tea. I tried and finished the tea because I'm a really slow like drinker when it comes to this type of stuff. And my goal is to finish the tea by noon. And if I haven't finished it, then I won't finish it because otherwise I'm very sensitive to caffeine. Fun fact, caffeine has a half-life of six to eight hours. So if you drink coffee at like three, then at 11, it's still like circulating in your body, which is kind of amazing that it doesn't impact some people and they can still fall asleep. But I can't. I'm very sensitive to it. Does anyone else's dog do that when you stop petting them? She like paws at me. <laughs> so it's lunchtime. It's 
109 <laughs> to be specific. Today I'm going to have some peanut butter toast and I have a bunch of grapes. <laughs> so I'm going to eat that um, and we'll see how long that holds me over for. This is my favorite bread. It's, if it'll focus, good seed organic bread and you can literally buy this anywhere. Um, I got this at Walmart, like not neighborhood Walmart, but like Walmart, Walmart. Um, and it is one of their like pricier breads, but I really, really like it. And I actually keep this in the freezer because I, it takes me a while to go through a loaf of bread. So I keep it in the freezer and then I normally just have it toasted. So I'll pop a couple pieces in the oven. I will just spread peanut butter. I'm cheap when it comes to nut butters because I use so much of it. Um, and it's funny because I've gotten some criticism from people for like A it being peanut butter and B it being kind of like a crappy quality. <laughs> I get that there's a lot healthier options, you know, like almond butter is a lot healthier, um, cashew butter, sunflower seed butter, and I know I can get it where it's literally just peanuts ground up, but at the same time, I can be relatively cheap. <laughs> Some things I'm not cheap about, but peanut butter is one of those things I'm super cheap about it, because if peanut butter is one of the worst things that I consume, then I promise I'm doing good. If there are things that y'all eat that aren't qu high quality and for whatever reason you're embarrassed about it, don't be. Because we all do crappy things. I'm not even getting GIF. Like, I'm for real just getting Walmart. <laughs> so if you're eating crappy things too, then it's all good. No one's perfect. So I'm going to fill this up again put some more lemon in it. I don't know why, but lately I haven't been liking plain water. I have to have something else in it. I'm gonna do that. No, you know what? I am gonna fill this up and I will drink it. But I told y'all I would show y'all the carbonated water. So I'm gonna drink one of those with lunch. So this is it. So I got this from these from Costco and this is the raspberry lemon, or no, raspberry lime. The lemon is my favorite because um, my favorite, like, soda, I guess, is Sprite, and the lemon one tastes so much like Sprite, and so, um, but I drank them all, um, but these are so good. Literally, the only th ingredients, where are they, is sparkling water, raspberry puree, raspberry juice, and fresh lime juice. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Hi, so it's 4.30 now or so, and I am starting to get hungry, and so I thought I'd go ahead and start making dinner. And this is a dish that I've been eating quite a lot lately, just because it's super, super easy. And so, let's get started. Also, side note, since I'm going to Nashville tomorrow, normally when I make this, I would make enough for at least three meals, because I really like to cook in bulk. I don't, I rarely cook just for one meal. And, but since I'm gonna be out of town, then I'm just cooking enough for me. So I'm doing onion, and then um, I just chopped up a couple of potatoes. I chopped them up like super small so that they'll cook really quickly. And I like for them to be bite sides because I like to have potatoes in like every single bite that I take because I love potatoes. Um, so I put a little bit of oil in here. Um, just to add some calories, but if you want to do water, then that works too, either one. Um, but I'm gonna actually cover this and let it steam for a little bit. Also, I just wanted to mention that yellow potatoes are my favorite potatoes because the skin is so thin that I love the skin versus like the white potatoes and even sweet potatoes. I don't really like the skin, and the nutrients are right under the skin, so if you peel them, then you're losing a lot of the nutrients. So I normally do the yellow potatoes. Um, a lot of that's just preference, and I grew up eating yellow potatoes, so I think that has a lot to do with it as well. So for veggies, I really like frozen veggies because they're so easy and quick. I don't view frozen vegetables as bad. I think that they're perfectly fine. 
Um, I just get the ones that just have veggies. So like this one just says broccoli. Um, this one just says lima beans because I'm Southern. <laughs> or my family in Georgia would call these butter beans. Um, and then corn. I just added some water. Um, to the potatoes because they were starting to get a little crispy and they're ooh and they're not quite done. Um, I'm just adding some water and gonna continue to let them steam. So the sauce that I use or like the seasoning, um, I don't know if you noticed, but other than the onion, that's the only thing I've put in it so far. I will add a little bit of black pepper, but the sauces that I've been using are Mr. Spice. So I've talked about him before. So he is literally the nicest guy ever. <laughs> he sent me these a while back and I've been going through them all. First, the Thai peanut was my favorite and now this one's my new favorite. It's the sweet and sour. Um, and basically his sauces are free of everything. So they're organic, no MSG, no preservatives, gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, no HVP, no sulfites salt free, fat free, vegan, and no high fructose corn syrup. Um, and then so I've been adding this to my stir fry and then I've just been adding like a little bit. He also has this tangy bang. So I've mainly been using this but then to give it like a little bit of a kick I just like drizzle a little bit, not a lot obviously because I haven't used a whole lot of it. So this is kind of like the marinade that I'll be using to season the stir fry. Whoa! Yum! So good and so freaking easy. So I'm just gonna cover it and let it steam until the frozen veggies are thawed out and cooked and everything. So, fun fact. It is 4.57, so it was 4.30 when I started. So I'm done cooking, and I am done cleaning up. Except for that, I just need to put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> um, so this is what the finished product looks like.